I'm Michelle. It's Wednesday. I'm coming down with like a fever or flu or something, and I'm not feeling the greatest. Anyway, I wanted to review a movie called That Thing You Do. It had Tom Hanks. It was in the 90s. Um, it has Tom Everett Scott, and everybody's question is, what happened to Tom Everett Scott after this? He has disappeared. Well, I looked it up. He's been on television doing voice acting and television shows, so that's what happened to him. This movie's pretty good. It's about a band from Pennsylvania that kind of has a hit single back in the 60s when you really made music. You didn't just have a full album because that costs a lot of money and a lot of uh, recording time to do. So you would have like uh, just a little disc, flat disc, and it would have one song on the other side, a B side. And that usually was it, and that's what you would hear on the radio over and over again. And it wasn't like how it is now, where there's, you know, it's so easy just to make a, record a song these days. It's, um, it's, it was a lot harder back then, I guess. More expensive, too. Uh, so, anyway, it's about this band. They make it kind of big because of this, uh, single. And you kind of follow them around to see how they deal with, you know, inter-band stuff. Because in any band, I could tell you from personal, um, stuff that it is it is tough being in a band you have everybody's uh, own egos to uh, work against and you have you know people that disagree about how like something is supposed to go or the integrity of the band anyway so the main character um, is this little drummer guy and they call him shades because Tom Hanks who's in the movie makes him wear shades and that's like his his thing and then you have um, who I thought was Billy Crudup the whole time it's not it's some guy called Jonathan Shake. I don't know. I never heard. What's what's he done? Um. That's about it. That's the only thing that big that he did. It's too bad because he's kind of attractive. He's kind of angry looking though, but that that works for this movie. So he kind of at the end of the toward the he he's the the one that wrote all the songs. He's like the talent. Tom Hanks calls him. And then the everybody else is kind of silly. There's some really cute um, actors in this. That guy that was in Reality Bites, Steve Zahn. He was in other stuff, too. I know he was. He's fun. He's fun in any movie he does. Um, I'm looking to see what else he was in. Stuart Little, too, as a voice. Um, that's about it. Uh, in suburbia. Friends. It's not really that great. Anyway, so the movie basically follows them around as they do a tour. There's a lot of, like, band chemistry that happens, and there's a lot of band badistry that happens. And it kind of says what happens with the band. And um, so basically this movie is pretty good. It's a good movie. It's like it's it's a good background movie again, you know. It's it's nothing that's going to really tax your brain. You're not going to really think too much about it. My only question is if you do watch it, how many times did you listen to the hit single that they play over and over again in the in the movie until you either hated it or really liked it? Because they play it a lot in the movie. And it's a and toward I don't know. Just just let me know if you could handle it all the times. It's a cute song, though. I'll tell you what. It's a cute pop song. I don't know if you can see all this. A holiday sweatshirt that um, has Mary, baby Jesus, and Joseph. And they are fighting the evil that is un-Christmas. I don't know. You know, everybody's always like, keep Christmas and Christmas. Anyway, so in the back it's going to have Santa. He's going to have a grenade. And, and if you could tell, baby Jesus has some nunchucks. Um, and also another thing is I released a, uh, Christmas song with my friend Katie. We're in a band called Dirty Damn Band. I'm going to link you so you can download it. It's a free download. It's a Christmas song.